Red Dead Redemption 2 is without a doubt the best open world game I've ever played. That being said, it's out of the question I want to unlock every Xbox achievement in this game. And when it comes to unlocking the achievements, some aren't as fun as others. Some achievements are really annoying, like the Grin and Barrett achievement. I had to go out of my way to find 18 different bears, get mauled by them, and kill them and survive. Then there are achievements from Red Dead Online, and my god I hate those. But on my journey to 100% the achievements in Red Dead Redemption 2, the one achievement I had the most difficulty with was Gold Rush. If you don't know what Gold Rush is, I'll explain it briefly. This achievement requires you to get a gold medal in 70 different missions. Getting a gold medal in a Red Dead mission is easier said than done, because each mission has specific requirements for a player to complete in order to obtain the medal. The good news is, you don't need to get a gold medal in all of them. You just need some. Today, I'm going to tell you how I got this achievement and why I think it's the hardest in Red Dead Redemption 2. Let me make this clear that you don't have to start a new game, but getting this achievement is so grindy and takes so long, you may as well. Thankfully, Rockstar gives us the option to replay the missions again in the progress tab. As I mentioned earlier, Every mission in this game has requirements to get the gold medals. Whether if it's a time limit, weapon accuracy, the amount of headshots you get, or simply not consuming health tonics. How would you know this? It's not like the game will tell you what it needs. Well, in my case, I had the help of the official Red Dead Redemption 2 textbook that came with the Ultimate Edition at GameStop. Here, the book has a section dedicated to the missions and tells you the requirements and how to do them in the easiest way. It's a very beautiful book, and I find this very helpful. Now, if you don't have this book, there's another way. I looked it up on Reddit, and someone actually made a Google document on which Red Dead Redemption missions are the easiest to gold medal. I can link you guys the document in the description down below for you guys to check out. The guy who made this document colored the missions based on the difficulty. Green means they're the easiest, so I recommend those missions. You can do yellow, but they require more effort than the green, so I wouldn't recommend them, but if you think you can do it, you're more than welcome. Red missions are so hard, I recommend you avoid them completely. And this mission, that's purple, I assume is so incredibly hard that not only you should avoid it, but go out of your way to strangle it with barbed wire. I was able to get this achievement by doing most of the green missions and a few of the yellow ones. The missions I golded are Outlaws from the West, Pursued by a Memory, The Aftermath of Genesis, Eastward Bound, Polite Society, Valentine Style, Americans at Rest, Exit Pursued by a Bruised Ego, Paying a Social Call, A Quiet Time, Money Lending and Other Sins 3, Blessed Are the Meek, Who Is Not Without Sin, The First Shall Be the Last, Good Honest Snake Oil, We Loved Ones and True 3, Pouring Forth Oil 2, The Spines of America, The Fisher of Men, Pouring Oil 4, A Strange Kindness, Further Questions of Female Suffrage, An Honest Mistake, The Course of True Love 2 and 3, Advertising the New American Art 2, Horse Flesh for Dinner, Blessed Are the Peacemakers, Blood Feuds Ancient and Modern, The Battle of Shady Bell, The Joys of Civilization, Help a Brother Out, Brothers and Sisters One and All, Fatherhood and Other Dreams 2, No, No, and Thrice No, The Gilded Cage, American Fathers 2, Horsemen Apocalypses, The Urban Pleasures, Country Pursuits, Revenge is Dish Best Eaten, Banking the Old American Art, Welcome to the New World, Paradise Mercifully Departed, Dear Uncle Tacitus, Fleeting Joy, A Fork in the Road, Do Not Seek Absolution 1 and 2, The Course of True Love 5, Just a Social Call, A Rage Unleashed, The Delights of Van Horn, Goodbye Dear Friend, The Bridge to Nowhere, All of the Epilogue Part 1, Home Improvement for Beginners, A New Jerusalem, Uncle's Bad Day, Trying Again, A New Future Imagined, and finally, American Venom. With all this in mind, all you need to do now is follow the directions, and it takes a lot of patience. In my opinion, this document is mostly correct. However, there are some missions that were a lot harder than I thought, where I had to replay it multiple times. When you replay a mission, there's no restart button. You either finish the mission, load the game, or die. 
and dying is the fastest way to restart the mission. So, most of the time if I miss a requirement or fuck up, I'll just blow myself up with dynamite and quit the mission. If you die and then complete the mission, it doesn't count. You need to do the mission in one go without dying and fulfilling the requirements. This wouldn't be such a problem if some of the requirements weren't so stupid. Like here, you're not supposed to get hit in a fist fight by this guy and beat his ass in 25 seconds. And yes, getting grabbed by him and blocking his punches count as a hit. That's ridiculous. I have no idea how many times I had to replay this stupid mission and I hated it. Another is this mission where you aren't supposed to get hit. 20 guys shooting you behind this rock? Fuck that. Then there are the missions in this game that are actually really fun to gold though. Specifically ones that make you rely on combat. Gunfights are Red Dead Redemption's 2 bread and butter. And the game tests how fast you are on the trigger. One of the biggest tips I can give you while trying to get headshot requirements or kills in general is just abusing the Deadeye mechanic. It's a very vast way to guarantee headshots, and if you are very good, you can immediately do this with no problem whatsoever. If you somehow run out of Deadeye, don't fret, because the game gives you tonics that give you Deadeye like snake oil or chewing tobacco. Most gun missions require you not to use health tonics, but they never said anything about Deadeye tonics. Just be careful not to use miracle tonics. Believe it or not, Red Dead Online actually helped me practice my gun skills in the story. I would talk about how much Red Dead Online affects the main game itself, but I plan on saving that when I talk about how I unlocked every Xbox achievement in Red Dead Redemption 2. With time requirements, it can be tricky. Some will say skipping cutscenes will save you time to meet the requirement. I can confirm that's not true. Some missions are straightforward, like this one with Arthur and John placing dynamite under the bridge where they blow it up later. This mission requires you to do this under a minute and 20 seconds. So you have to memorize where every dynamite goes and get this right. Some missions are short and some missions are long. If you make a mistake on a long mission, you would have to waste 15 minutes of your time trying to get back to where you were. Personally, I think 70 missions was way too much. Gold medals should be optional, like if you need to get bonus money or something. Why is this even here at all? Red Dead 1 didn't have this. I'm just grateful that I don't need to get all the missions golded. Every mission I would replay and win, I would pray that the game loads me back into the main open world giving me a gold medal for the mission. It took me about a month of constant gameplays, with a few breaks every now and then, but with the power of trial and error, I was able to do it. If you are determined to get this achievement, I need to tell you good luck. Like any challenging game, it can be a long time to overcome, but with trial and error and a proper guide, I think you can do it. It's frustrating, but I can assure you that it's worth it in the end. What do you think is the hardest mission in Red Dead Redemption 2? Let me know down in the comments below, I'd love to hear your opinion. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.